Good morning, everyone. Well, the dollar was little changed overall this morning uh, from with the DXY index almost exactly where it was uh, yesterday morning this time. This implies to me that the markets are settling down after the turmoil caused by Wednesday's FOMC minutes, uh, Mr. Bernanke's speech, and uh, rather than a broad dollar move, we're going back to tra trading just individual currencies on those currencies' individual merits. Over time, I think this trend will allow the dollar to make a comeback. Uh, market reports said that the U.S. currency weakened uh, in, the, uh, in the late U.S. day following the worse than expected jobless claims. Both new and continuing claims were higher than expectations and higher than the previous week. But since the current U.S. currency actually peaked half an hour after that news came out, I don't see how it could have been uh, responsible for the late, uh, late trading, the weakness in late trading. Now, there were two significant moves overnight. On the one hand, the Australian and New Zealand dollar weakened as Australian home loans grew less than forecast in May. Concerns over Chinese growth are also weighing on, on these two currencies out of next week's China GDP data. But the Canadian dollar gained on hopes for continued U.S. stimulus. Now, this demonstrates that location matters as well as classification of a, as a commodity currency. I think the Australian dollar and New Zealand dollar are in for further hard, hard times as the Chinese economy slows. The other move worth noting was in sterling, which was the best performing currency among the majors. Investors and analysts are starting to reconsider the likelihood that the new Bank of England governor can overcome resistance on the Monetary Policy Committee uh, to further quantitative easing. Personally, I expect that while an increase in outright purchases may not be possible, there are other measures that the central bank can take, uh, as Mr. Carney himself has pointed out. So I expect uh, the bank to implement such measures and for sterling to weaken as a result. On the technical side, although euro dollar is flat over the, the day, it has strong momentum indicators and our technical analyst thinks it's likely to rise further following Wednesday's breakout. Resistance levels can be found at 132 the figure, which is yesterday's high, and 132.90, support at 130.14 and 128.90. This is Marshall Giller, head of Global FX Strategy at Dynamics, wishing you solid trading.